every choice you make here shapes the future. Irreversibly. All right, everybody, welcome back to the next session of Dying Light 2. So, last time that I was with you guys, it was a little bit of a roller coaster because I had really no idea um, how to get into the latch that got us underground um, effectively. So, I used a decoy at first, and that sort of lured the zombies away, but then I, when I ran out of them, and I needed more. I had no idea where to find them. I went and looked for bandits. They didn't have them. The stores didn't have them. So I'm really not 100% sure how to get them. So I ended up uh, using UV sticks, and those actually worked uh, out pretty well. So right now, and then, you know, we ended up getting ourselves... Ended up getting ourselves... Um... Here, let me, uh, <laughs> hard for me to think when, I, when I'm doing stuff. So, I, uh, uh, we ended up um, meeting up with the, with the peacekeepers, and we were able to, okay, they're on the map now. We were able to, um, you know, convince them that, you know, I was going to do some missions for them and open up a new save, uh, save place for us, and we'll be able to, um, do a mission for one of the guys he is looking for a weapon called the Lazarus I believe so that's a main story mission I believe and we'll uh, continue that in a little bit we're I, we're just gonna roam around for a little while slash up on some guys and see how things go so let's see what happens might do some might do some uh, side missions and whatnot so let's see where the adventure takes us today I, I, I was hearing this person saying, I want to see what's going on. Hey there. Rehearsing for the big night? <laughs> Where did you come from, handsome? I heard you, uh, singing. Don't lie to Lola, sweet cheeks. Bet you thought someone was strangling a cat. No, not at all. I, I... See this neck? It was quite you pleasant. You shouldn't be able to. Usually, it's wrapped in the softest, most rare of mink stoles. Lola was the grand dame of the bazaar, but until reunited with her beloved mink stole, she is unfit to perform. But how will Lola dazzle anyone without her beloved mink stole? Without it, I can't hit the high notes. And you don't see mink scampering about everywhere, do you? Uh, where is it? Earlier. A strong gust of wind ripped it from Lola's tender throat and carried it away. I saw it flapping from the scaffolding near the GRE quarantine, at the intersection of Market and Horseshoe. Lola is powerless to retrieve it. Uh, I could. Would you? Lola could return to the bazaar to entertain, not frighten children like a lurking screamer. Well, we can't have that. No, indeed. Thank you, my knight in shining... whatever it is that you're wearing. I shall await you at the bazaar. Hurry, my fans await! Diva! Okay, let's go ahead and do this. See what we need to go. Uh, okay, retrieve Lolo's mink stole. Stole, right? Okay. That is 211 meters away. Let's get over there. Yeah, you know, I thought that her, uh, I thought her singing was just fine. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> Somebody's eating somebody down there. I hear it. They should be eating you. But yeah, I think it's probably going to be vital to complete some side missions here and there, you know, before we do the main story stuff. And I will have to just get used to uh, doing night mission stuff. I'm just going to have to start going out at night. It's going to be the most effective way to level up. I feel like I am a little bit intimidated. Because the zombies are... 
a little more crazier, you know? I just think that it is so crazy. You can just kill people, like, whenever you want. It's so weird. Like, people that are just, like, normal survivors, like, that are just walking amongst themselves. You can just do what you want to do to them. Uh-oh. So where's this thing at? Okay. Look out! Whoa, 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 whoa! That was close, wasn't it? Thought we were gonna have to clean you off the streets! Damn! Did we get Almost it? Almost had it. Oh, it flew it flew away. Yeah, remember our stamina meter. We don't wanna mess get messed up here. Yeah, we were near it and then it just kinda took off. <laughs> Let's see. Are they chasing us up here? Uh Okay, that's a place to to land. Oh crap. We're not paying attention. And it's gone again. Okay, get our stamina back. I wasn't paying attention, man. I gotta get that uh under control. Okay, it's over there now. Huh. Hey! Get back here! Okay, this has to be like the final spot. Thank you. <laughs> Got it. Oh, this looks more like squirrel than mink. Now well, I'd better get to the bazaar and give this to Lola. Woo! Okay, we'll we'll head back. Oh. <laughs> We're all good. But this guy is. Hey! <laughs> okay. Get off of me! Okay, we're heading back. We'll try not to get uh, distracted. Sometimes I gotta remember to turn off my flashlight when I'm out here doing stuff. Makes no sense. guys what a way to start this right <laughs> so you know sometimes um i got to uh realize what is around me <laughs> because uh we'll have uh we'll have times where that's gonna happen okay she's actually near okay she's not near I, I was honestly telling myself uh, which button was that again, and then of course you know I, I hit the right button, and it turned out to work the way that it did. Too bad there wasn't nothing below me. That would have been great if there was. Uh, she's on the ground now. Okay. Oh yeah, she said to meet her here. What am I talking about? It's coming back to me, y'all. Don't worry. It'll start our flashlight on because we can't see in here anyway. The worst thing was they took all the equipment. Hey there. You couldn't have screwed it up more than you did. Oh, here you go. My precious mink. Oh, you are truly sent from above. Lola is complete once more. You deserve a reward. Do you wish Lola to reward you with a song? Yeah, sure, why not? Sure, why not? Let's see how long it takes. I sleep and I dream of your love. I feel like it was you better the first time. Sent from above, like a soft turtle dove. I wake to the touch of your your hands on my hips My heart does back flips <clears throat> Are you not hypnotized? Are you not enthralled by Lola's voice? 
Oh, I am. I am. That was otherworldly. Such a compliment. You were such a dear boy. And a terrible liar. But Lola appreciates your kindness. You deserve a more proper reward than a song anyway. Take this with Lola's deepest gratitude. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it, love. Okay, now what did she give us? I'm not really sure. <laughs> uh, maybe just coins. Gave us some coins. Some currency. There's somebody else here. Let's, uh... Let's see what they want. That wasn't too long. Huh? You talking to me? Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, Pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Right. Sure. Hmm? No. Luke's been poisoned. From the water you poisoned. sold him, Devin says. Uh -oh. What? But I don't sell water. Liar. Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? Oh, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! Sometimes I wake up at night... Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. Hmm. You sure? How do you store it? I buy bottles. There's no way it could become contaminated. Not a chance. My supplier Marco always has clean water. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen, he lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't seem like, you know, he's really caring too much about it, huh? Like, he knows he messed up. <laughs> and it's gonna be up to us to make sure that people are feeling okay, not poisoned, and they're ready to, you know, go on with their lives and whatnot. Yes, yes, you have a true sense of humility and empathy for others. I feel it. What if the peacekeepers are killing Okay. So, we got a little ways to go. Let's head on over there. We might throw down on some zombies on the way. Who's this guy? Okay, he's just a survivor. Wait a minute. Whoa! I'm still hitting like the wrong buttons for certain things. Dead yet? Yeah. Never okay. seen anything like that. Me neither. Never mind. Yeah, I was just kidding too. Okay, we got ourselves in a little bit of entertainment. Let's head to the objective. Ah! <laughs> 
I don't have time for this. <laughs> Where are we? Great. Another okay. water thief. <laughs> Just what I need. Between thieves and infected, I'll be out of business soon. I'm here because a guy named Julian claims you sold him poison water. I didn't poison anything. All right? Uh, Julian claims otherwise. Sure. Listen to the guy who sold me flour mixed with plaster. If you're not the thief, how are you with infected? I need to get rid of those things that are down there. If not, I'm done here. Poison water or not. Okay, I'll get rid of the infected, and you tell me what happened. Deal? Sure. Deal. Okay, then. Sounds like a job for me. Anything at this level? Of course, nothing. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything else. Except this, what's here? Nothing? Okay. This seemed to be a nice little place at one point in time. Bandits defeated. I don't even know what I did. <laughs> Thanks for the free XP. All you have to do is breathe and it kills a fly. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I don't think some of them saw me yet. Come here, you. Dead. Oh, boy, everybody's here. <laughs> Ooh, off with the heads! Ooh. You want some of this too? <laughs> hey, let's do some searching. Is somebody over here? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> okay, we got another bottle there that we can throw if we need to throw it. And a brick. And then there was something else in this room, right? Okay, yeah, some lockers. Alright. My workouts will be... Completed soon enough. I don't see anything else. I'll be honest. Sometimes it is. It's kind of hard to find things without using the survivor sense. I don't want to overdo it. And eh, we don't need it. I don't want to overdo it. Make way, kid. Oh, you got down here fast. Okay, you're safe. Now, what's the story with the water? Wait. Turn the power on. So I'm slowly dying here. So you really are one of those fucked up pilgrims. Fucked up? Now we're safe. Gotta be a fucking criminal. Or pretty damn fucked up to drag your ass hundreds of miles through a world full of virals. Fucked up in a good way, of course. So, what about the water? There ain't nothing wrong with my water. The man at the bazaar was poisoned. You'll be blamed if he dies. <sighs> damn it. Okay. It was an accident. Okay? Yeah, an accident. It's because of these goddamn thieves. Thieves? They're always stealing my water. I can't take it anymore. So, I decided to set the trap. 
Do you deliberately poison the water to kill the bandits? Mm, not quite. At least, uh, I didn't mean to. A, a while ago, I killed this viral that came what crawling in town. And the fucker fell straight into a tub. The whole tub fucking ruined. Oh. Then I got this idea. Why don't I teach these bastards a lesson? So I filled some bottles with the zombie water, <laughs> sent oh. them out where they'd be easy to see. They were never supposed to make it into the bazaar. Guess I was sauced up and accidentally sold a few bottles to Julia. Look, I'll give you all the flour I got. I'll even throw something extra. Just don't tell anybody. I'd be ruined. Just be honest and tell your story to the bazaar. It was an accident. You nuts! No one would <laughs> buy even a drop of water from me ever again. I won't let Julian hang for something he didn't do. Fuck Julian. I got my own skin to save. So that's a story you ain't going to tell. Yes, it's one of these. <laughs> oh, he's got a power hit. He got a power hit. Okay, we gotta be careful. I might die during this. I don't know. It's gonna be tricky. Okay. I'm, I'm running on little health. Now wait a minute. Hold on. Didn't I just make these? It says I have eight. But there's nothing here. What is going on? Uh I can't believe this. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> my um uh my medicinals are not like loading or something. There we go. He's got a lot of health. Oh, he dodged that one. He dodged that one too. Uh oh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why I don't have medicine. I just don't know why. Wow, he. Oh, yeah, okay, I see his health now. Okay. Couple more hits. Uh oh. You're all bloodied up! Oh, he's done. I really wonder if that would have ended another way, but I'm I'm very uh very interested in for one, why did I where is my <laughs> where are my medicinal uh Options here. I have no idea. I need to get back anyway because nighttime's fallen. Is he gonna keep breathing like this? <laughs> Yeah, but I, I I don't I don't have any idea why my um uh, why my medicine is not uh is not loading up. Like I said, I think it says I have nine of them or something. I don't I don't know what's going on. Yes, yes, we heard you the first five times you said it. 
I still have to go to one of these other locations, too. Hans? Hans, you there? Okay. For some reason, I thought I was done. <laughs> Hans? Yeah, I can't, I can't, uh... It's, it's really, it's really throwing me off that he just keeps breathing like this and just won't stop. <laughs> <coughs> oh, that moron must have taken the wrong bottle again. Forget his own head if it weren't stuck on his shoulders. And hey, what did you mean by the wrong bottle? He always takes a little rocket fuel with him when he goes hunting. But the booze is right here. That means he's got water. Where is he? And what business is that of yours? The water he got from Julian. It might be contaminated. He's hunting at this... Uh, the military tower, a, a few hundred meters west of here. Unless he's at the courts. I'll go to the tower. You check the courts, fast. Wait, wait. Take the booze with you, in case he's already drunk some of the water. I bet what's in this bottle will kill whatever's in that one. <laughs> Back to... Uh, 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 uh. Just a little bit over the top, don't you think? Okay, my my medicine is back. I have no idea how it how it uh, left my inventory, but it's back now. Um, had to do some searching a little in the in the menus to to get it back. So what do we need to do now? Okay, so this is where we need to go. We need to go to this location. Okay, now that he's A-OK, -okay, let's head out and do stuff. Oh no, I can't get up there. Okay, we're getting close. Yeah, there's a volatile right there, man. Right in front of us. We're at the quest area. Hans? Hans? Oh, you old fool. Hans? Okay, there he is. <laughs> the volatile doesn't need to be around. Okay. Oh, cool. Alright, let's see what's Hans. happening. Are, are you Hans? What do you want? Did you drink any of that water? Goddamn right I did. Tasted like piss. Give him booze. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's your booze. Take it. Your wife said chug. Drink it already. Bullshit. What? <laughs> My wife said that? My Anna? She thinks the alcohol's strong enough to burn the poison out of your system. Ha! Huh. My woman. <laughs> so she loves me after all, despite her bitching and moaning. And they say romance is dead. Here, for making my day. And maybe saving my life. <sighs> Look, you need any help getting back? Nah, I'm good. Me and this bottle of booze still got some work to do. All right, man. Hope you're good enough to survive the night. So now we can go back to Bazaar. Look at this idiot. How far is is it? Okay, yeah, it's it's that way. We gotta go right past you. Shut up! 
<laughs> Come after me. Whoa, what just happened? What the hell was that? <laughs> that was strange. Uh oh. That'll come in handy. Yeah. Yes, it will. We're out here swiping at volatiles, being a chicken and running. Ah! There's a howler. Whoa, it just turned me around. That didn't really make any sense. Somebody is spitting at me. I'm not going to get away. Everybody grabs you. Why? Like, literally everybody fucking grabs you in this game. What is going on? This is so strange. Try not to get back to the ground, but I keep going back to the ground. Keep coming, man. Right into somebody. I don't even know where I'm going. <laughs> I'm gonna get hit. Plus, I'm running out of time. Whoa, somebody's like shooting shit at me. I got one minute. <laughs> 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 
how did I make it in here? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How? Here, let's heal. Oh my gosh. What the hell? Uh, that was like the most intense thing so far. Here, I gotta stay in here real quick. Okay, I gotta do this out here. That was like too exciting. It, it got crazy there only because I got hit on the ground several times. Where we need to go. Okay, we're 94 meters away. I got hit on the ground several times, and then I'm telling you, I ran into that. I ran into that. Uh, ran into the the crowd of zombies, and just every single one of them grab you. I just I don't understand what is up with that. That is just the craziest stuff. Come here. I don't think so. Okay. I can't believe I was even able to keep it together. That was close. Okay. We're learning the ways. Here we go again. What, what time is it? Anyway? Okay, now I keep getting fucked. <laughs> Let's go back. <laughs> Volatile, just wait for us. Almost there. Way to end it. Way to end it with the chase. Okay. Okay, somebody got somebody got sliced out there, but we're not gonna be out there to see exactly what happened. Aiden! What's going on? Bevan's husband is dead. Julian's been accused of murdering him by poisoning his water. Hmm. Aiden, please, tell them it wasn't me. The water from the supplier was tainted. Yeah. Julian is innocent. A viral fell into his supplier's storage tub. The guy drunkenly sold Julian contaminated water. It wasn't a murder. You'd swear to that before the Bazaar Council? Yeah. Where's that supplier? He's going to stand trial in- Marco... is dead. I... I killed him. And my job here is done. It's okay! I forgive you! That scum Marco got what he deserved. Thank you, Aiden. Half of my flower is yours. Yeah, the flower mixed with plaster? Huh? Uh... no. Where'd you hear that? Oh, yeah, so once, but, yeah, you know, it... Yeah, keep the plaster. Just pay me and we'll be even. All right. I'll tell Bibbin what happened. Well done. And we got a stinky... What? A stinky pipe? Or something? what it looked like okay we could level ourselves up we got one of each here okay we got a vault power kick now I kind of like the idea of that yeah the grapple is gonna be very effective I think we absolutely need this
Yes, we'll definitely go with that. Okay, move faster on ledges to either move faster on ledges when moving up and to either side. I think this is going to be effective too, so let's do this one. Okay, guys, we're only going to get stronger as we continue on. <laughs> what time is it anyway? <laughs> I'm not sure, but I about fell to my death. Hurry up, before you see me. We don't need to start another chase. Here, just let me get to a uh, safe location so I can contact the GRE. Let's see if we can do this. Do this now. See how hard this is gonna be. <sighs> A restricted area. Finding inhibitors inside the GRE dark zone. a dangerous area. Yeah, let's heal myself up a little. This is locked from the inside, so we can't go that way. Also locked from the inside, so we can't go that way. Also locked from the inside. This is pointless. <laughs> this will be my first attempt taking a... Trying to infiltrate a dark zone. Uh, during this time of the time of the night Like what exactly I'm already seeing something right there Okay I saw something right there. Now I can't. Now I can't see. That our first enemy here. I don't see anybody else but this one. And there's another one over there. Doing these are kind of exciting, because you don't know what you're going to go up against. Yeah, there's one right there, too. And one right here. Inhibitor container nearby. 
We'll go ahead and take the shrooms for now. Try to get out of this one's way. Quite a few people out there. We're getting close to one. We're getting even closer. Right over here. Do the lock pick. That was a simple one. Okay. This is our first one. Okay, we got one. So, where is the next one at? Right below us. How much time I have? <laughs> to be honest, this elevator is just really cool. It really is. Okay. Anything else in here? My man, you're totally missing that huge heap of crystals right there. Okay. Something's here. Oh. Nice. I was wondering when we were going to get one of these again. Cool. That's it. Steal the crystals. down further or is there no there isn't uh
Yeah, here we go. But no, 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 that's not that can't be the way. There's gotta be another way down. Inhibitor container nearby. Here we go, here we go. And there's four of these in here, and I think so far we've only found one. Do another one. Okay. What's going on? Why can't I get in here? Okay, so it was already open. To the other side of it. I feel like I'm like in concentration mode a little, trying to stay quiet. Not wake anybody up. Okay, the lockpick here is medium. How about we go ahead and take an immunity booster? Nice. I figured that's probably what that was for. I don't think I can uh, close that. Where's the other infected?
I mean, I don't even know what time it is either. Another big thing that this all rides on is what time it is. Because if I'm in here while this is all going on, and the, um, the virals come back, we're done for. No, you're done for. I'm perfectly safe up here, snug up all in your head. This one's awake now, too. We're making too much noise. Wake anybody else. Took care of the viral at least, so that's a good thing. Okay, that was odd. back to sleep. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. Okay. I think there is another level after this. Yeah, there's a howler down there. Access. Yeah, it's in that room there. There's one right in front of it, too, there. I don't think I can access that room from here. Might have to go through here. Let's see. I'm gonna die, I might as well, might as well accept it. Yeah, 
let's get out of here. We were able to get two. I was being a little overly, you know, overly protect protective of myself, you know. Let's see here. Uh Try to get out of here. <laughs> there we go. We're back in a light. So that wasn't bad. I got halfway. I, I was just like so. I was just so much in concentration mode that entire time. That was uh, nerve-wracking trying to get through there while all that was happening. But I really want to do more of those just so I can uh, wrap my head around a little more, get used to it. Here we go. Now we're here. Are we actually going to be going to, um... There looks like there's a story mission type thing uh, going on with this up here. So, let's see what happens. I'm gonna make my way to the top regardless. I'm not gonna try to talk to this guy yet until... Until we get to the top here. I do like these a lot. I think what really established this uh, this type of thing for me when it comes to activating, you know, safe zones and so on and so forth, you know, going up super high. It was uh, Far Cry 3 when you would climb the towers and each tower had its own challenges, had its own ways to get up. Wasn't always simple the first time, second time, third time. It was a different type of material you needed to jump atop in order to get yourself up there to uh, activate the tower and allow the map to be seen for uh, that given area, as well as um, it gave you a weapon as well. What's this? We got some additional oak windmill stuff. Unlocked the area. Okay, so this must be a uh, particular area for the Peacekeepers. Okay. Well, I think this was uh, an interesting one for us to dive into tonight. Took on my first dark zone at night, and... I definitely took it very slowly. I was kind of hesitant, you know, with how to maneuver about because you want to make sure that you do not alert any of those sleeping biters because they have a tendency to wake up the other ones and then things will just get a little too insane. And it seems like the further down we go, the tougher that it gets, you know, or and or you end up coming across different kinds of 
different kinds of infected that you don't want to go up against. The Howlers, I don't really know how to deal with them just yet. I just, because every time I come into contact with one, I, it's in a bad situation where I alert them. And in this case, I didn't want to go any deeper because I knew we were pretty much running out of time. But we got two inhibitors out of it. So that leaves us with at least one more then we can get a uh we can get an upgrade i'll probably do like an upgrade of health yeah i'll probably do an upgrade of health next time and then you know got another safe zone unlocked so we're just kind of steadily making our way in and uh we'll see where the dying light adventure continues to take us so if you guys are enjoying the dying light 2 adventures as we're trying to make our way through the city completing various tasks and whatnot to level up and uh, take the fight to the zombies and the rebels and all them renegades the renegades the bandits whatever you know make sure to stay connected to the channel because i want to keep diving into this more to see uh you know what we can do because what i'm seeing and what i'm really seeing is that it is just during the day i'm telling you it just feels like it's almost impossible to just fight zombies in a in a standard fashion I, you're just you don't level up enough during the day you just don't i feel like the best thing to do is probably running around being crazy at night and or probably just proceeding on with the story missions and whatnot so if you guys enjoyed how i took took care of the uh gre dark zone i tried to do my best you know you can give it a like rating if you would want to and just comment down below if you have any dying light tips you want to share or experiences that you have indulged in in this game you know let me know we'll talk about it and i will catch you guys when the next one is ready to go take care